by all of our latest standards, we had a late start this morning, but um, we did not want to wake up super early um, because we were hanging out anyways to go see Horseshoe Bend um, here near Page, Arizona. So um, the parking lot there is open from sunrise to sunset and we wanted to kind of get there right after sunrise um, before it got too hot and that was in the five, six o'clock range. So we woke up too early, we'd just be waiting around. So we went and checked that out. That was a lot of fun. And we packed up camp. We got a good system down now. We pack up camp like mostly the night before, like get the trailer like ready to go. Um, because in the morning we tend to leave kind of early and we don't want to wake up all the other campers just because we're like hitching stuff up and slamming stuff around. So now yeah, we're gonna go to Bryce Canyon National Park and unlike when we were in Zion yesterday, we just primarily drove through. Um, we weren't super prepared, it was amazing, but we primarily just drove through and made some stops with the dog. Not a lot you can do. Um, but in Bryce Canyon, they've got a lot of trails that you can take with your dog. So I, I did a little bit more research and um, since we'll have time and our drive today isn't super long, it's about three, three and a half hours on the road, that's it. <sighs> it's really warm out there, but if you get up early enough, it's um, you're, you're kind of able to beat the heat first thing in the morning and then in the afternoon. So, all right. You're so cute. There are two groups of people in the world. People who like rocks and crystals and beautiful pieces of glass and stone. And then there's everybody else. Scott and I happen to be in that first group. We love a good selection of rocks. So when we were driving up Highway 89 and we saw a whole bunch of different rock shops, we were delighted and we were so ready to hop out, stretch our legs and take a look around. Nellie was having such a blast at Bryce Canyon. You could hear little kids shouting as we would walk by saying, oh my gosh, the dog's wearing shoes. The cutest thing. Yes, we put Nellie's booties on because it was in the 90s outside and we knew that the pavement would be a lot warmer than 90 something degrees. So we took Nellie along on any paved pathway that we could find. Dogs are allowed in national parks but it's just really limited where they can go. Make sure to check the brochures to ensure that you're not bringing a dog where they can't be, but you're likely good to go. 